Okay, so now we have an example with logarithms to find the exact value of the following expression, and this time we actually have a, frac a fraction. So, oh man, most people just freak out. But we know how to deal with fractions, so all we need to do is cancel common factors. If we can't cancel fac factors yet because we have terms it needs, we must means we must factorize. There's no way I can factorize this thing. Eh? This doesn't have anything in common with that. It's not the difference of two squares. So first maybe I must look at each expression and maybe try and change this expression so that I can have a common factor. Well, let's see. If I don't have the same basis, then I'm going to get same basis. So just write it in terms of prime factors. Okay, just always a good idea. This is log 3, 5 to the power of 3 Okay, and minus log 5. Wow, we can't even add, multiply, uh, divide these two interiors because my bases aren't the same. Okay, so I'm not allowed to do that. So I'll write 2 to the power of 3. That's because 8 is 2 to the power of 3. In the denominator, I get log okay, 3. 625, well I know that 625 is 5 to the power of 4, I hope you know it as well, minus log and 5 and 16 I know is 2 to the power of 4. Now wouldn't you know that this exponent is the same as that exponent and this exponent is the same as that exponent, so I think I know where this is going. This is going to become log of 3 the exponent may become the coefficient and this one as well so both will have a 3 so this will have 3 and this is log 3 5 minus 3 log 5 uh, 2 okay again remember we're not allowed to multiply or divide the interiors because our bases aren't the same for the two so this one will take the 4 as a coefficient 4 log 5 minus 4 log 5 2 and one thing that you probably notice is that this log and that log is the same so many people will be tempted to just go and cancel this and cancel this and then they say oh well this is 3 minus 3 so that's 0 and this is 4 minus that's 0 so the whole thing is just 0 guys remember we are not allowed to cancel when there's more than one term we have to factorize. Now look how beautiful this simplifies if we factorize. We can take a 3 out from the numerator as a common factor because it's a coefficient here and a coefficient there, so just make it a coefficient of both by saying log 3, 5 minus log 5, 2, and we do the same for the denominator, take out a 4, since it's a coefficient for both, we just make it a coefficient for both while they remain in a bracket. And this is brilliant because now look, this whole expression is equal to this whole expression and this whole thing is a factor because it's in a bracket. So I cancel that whole thing with this whole thing and all I'm left with is 3 over 4. And that is the exact value for this expression to begin with.